Hi, bookkeepers and business owners. Today, I'm going to talk about tracking multiple properties within one QuickBooks file. Now, this would mean if you have, you would have multiple properties under one LLC. If you have two different LLCs, just make sure you create two QuickBooks files. Um, I've seen two different LLCs in one QuickBooks and that's a disaster. So this is if you have multiple properties under a single LLC and you need to be able to compare um, income and expenses. Okay. The other thing to know is that you would need to turn on class tracking and be in QuickBooks Online Plus. I just, I was, they keep changing all the rules here. Um, so I, this is a demo file and I upgraded it from QuickBooks Online Essentials to QuickBooks Online Plus. So that would be your first step. And once you've done that, you go to account and settings. And right here, categories. This is good um, to warn when a class isn't, uh, or a transaction isn't assigned to a class. Um, so we just say save. Without that turned on, I can't teach you how to do this. So we've already worked up um, a special chart of accounts that would kind of have this scenario. I have the rental income as a parent account. And then I have a building one and a building two. And then I made this one look like a residential building and this look like an office building. Okay, so we have that. And then I just picked one type of expense, utilities, and I have building one and there's a building two. The same thing. Okay, so they have the same expenses and then the same income. I mean, normally you could always also not subcategorize and just choose building one, building two, but I have never known a landlord who didn't then want to dive deeper. And then we had not been so detailed at the insistence of the landlord that that wasn't needed. So then you have to go back, add the, the different accounts, recategorize. So it's so much easier to set these things up when you start out, or if you're starting a new QuickBooks file, then deciding later to go back. Okay. okay. So let's look at a PL before we add classes. So I created a certain set of transactions for building one and building two. So which is really funny is that I didn't pick any of these amounts and somehow they both equal the same amount per building. That's kind of funny. Um, and I'm pretty close here too. All right, so here we have expenses, but as you can see, this is, um, it has both of your buildings in here. So let's say you're gonna sell building two and you don't want anyone to know about your finances and normally most LLCs only have one property, but in this case you have two and you only want to send the prospective buyer regarding their um, the property they're interested in buying from you. So now you have a problem, right? Because you don't, this is fine for taxes, it's fine for your CPA, it's just not fine if you want to keep the rest of your things private. So Let's make classes. And I'm not gonna go into detail of subclasses, which you could do, but that would be a different day. Okay, so we turned on classes. So let's just see. Sometimes it's easier to do these on the fly. All right, so we are in building one. So right here on the fly, we can just add the class or you could go to lists. Building. Oh, and you know, let me switch to the view you would use because I'm like an accountant. Apparently it doesn't work. Okay. 
Okay, so let's get all of these recoded. Oops. Okay, I classed, I finished classing all of the amounts for income. And then you'll do the same thing for your expenses, which I have only created utilities. The main thing to remember is make sure you pick the right class. I mean, this is building one, we wanna pick building one. It would show up. So that's another way. If your if your chart of accounts codes are easy to read and follow, it'll be much easier for you to pick or have someone who's working for you pick the right code. The worst thing you want is all this work done and then it's done incorrectly. Okay. I believe I have added a class to all of these transactions. So these six income transactions and there should be six utility transactions. And so now I'll just go right up here into profit and loss by class. And you'll see building one has this much and building two. And then you really need maybe for one that's not either specific to either building one or building two. Um, g and A is a common one, general and administrative. And you could put things like this, office supplies, advertising, that kind of thing. All right, so you see you have two, but what we could also do is filter, customize here. And instead of saying all, you can pick building one. So there you go. It's only showing what you've coded to that building. So if someone's trying, if you or you're trying to give numbers regarding, you know, only one piece of your LLC, right here, you can see your income, you can see the expenses and the net income. And then you would just go up here again I keep clicking that. You could change it. Get building two. But if you put both of them in there, I mean, I for some reason made them exactly the same for income. But if you, and they're only $5 off in the expenses. But what you can see is if you're trying to compare the profitability of one, um, you know, building or house or multifamily, et cetera, to another, um, you know, I've had clients that have literally two office buildings right next to each other. Um, they're usually in a separate LLC, but they're, you know, my clients want to look at how well one is performing versus the other. So sometimes, you could have something. And this would also allow you to segregate income and expenses to that specific building. And if you wanted, you wouldn't have to create all of these extra charts of accounts. Now I did this from a, a different video and it's not bad. I mean, because you're still, maybe you don't have classes or you don't want to um, upgrade then just creating these can help, but you don't want to get too big of a chart of accounts. If you had, I'd still, I would still enter all your units here, but this helps separate the two different locations. Okay, so that's it, how simple it is. Just remember you need QuickBooks Online Plus to do this and, um, and then you get rolling. The other thing I could show you is here. I did it on the fly, but if you wanted to create another class, here, 
I'm just going to call it GNA for general administrative. So then what you could do, let's see, we had advertising. And so if you're going to have classes, there's this, um, you can make this a favorite. And there you go, it breaks it out. So it's, this is showing a loss because there's no income, so that's fine. And then you could see like how much your overhead is and things you're attributing to this LLC. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe and leave comments below regarding anything you would like to learn. Thanks.